Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's John here with Nonstop Affiliate. So in this video, we're gonna be doing an in-depth ClickFunnels review. So what I wanna start off by doing is showing you guys the back office, showing you guys exactly what's back here, how everything works back here. Then at the end, I wanna tell you guys my exact thoughts on it, give you guys my real reviews, let you guys know if it's actually worth the price or not. So if you're watching this video, it's likely that you know, you're know you looking into ClickFunnels, maybe you wanna start using it, and you might be comparing it to your current provider. So for example, you might be using lead pages, Builderall, WordPress, Wix. I've basically gone through all of them already, including ClickFunnels as well. So at the end, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on ClickFunnels, how it works, and I'm gonna give it an overall comparison based on all the other tools that I use. For example, again, Builderall, Wix, WordPress, all those, and let you guys know, in my opinion, which one truly is the best one. So let's get into this quick ClickFunnels review. So this is your back office. As soon as you make your account and log in, you have your back office inside of here. Inside of here, you have your daily messages, you know, signing up for the one funnel away challenge, setting up your Stripe account, your affiliate bootcamp, little messages that ClickFunnels constantly updates. On the side over here, you kind of have your stats bar where it's showing you your stats of the day, your visitors, your pages, your funnels, giving you just overall stats of your account. At the bottom of that, you have some ClickFunnels badges and then you have some affiliate earnings. So if you wanna start being an affiliate for ClickFunnels, they have a great affiliate program as well. And so that's basically it for your dashboard right here. So to get into your account settings, all you have to do is go over to your little person icon at the top right hand side, click on it and go to account settings. Inside of here, you have all your regular details. For example, billing, your account, your name, your integration. So for example, if you want to integrate an email autoresponder, if you want to do that inside of here. So here are a couple integrations. Your Stripe account, as you can see here, I have Aweber connected. You also have your domains back here. So if you purchase a domain from ClickFunnels or if you purchase domains before, you connect them back here. And you also have your page templates. So if you create a page inside of ClickFunnels and you wanna save that exact page, you could do that right there. So pretty basic layout, not too much, not too complicated or you know hard to understand. It's very user friendly, very beginner friendly and very easy to use. So let's go over back to our home page, and I'll show you guys how to start building out your funnels inside of here and exactly how it works. So to go ahead and start building out your funnels, all you have to do is open up the ClickFunnels tab and then click on Funnels. Inside of here, it shows you a list of all the funnels that you all, you've already created or that you've shared. And to add a new one, all you have to do is click on add a new one at the, with the button at the top right. And then right here is where it gets interesting because right here you could go ahead and choose a cookbook or if not create your own classic funnel from scratch. So what a cookbook is, is these are funnels that ClickFunnels has already made, like real legit funnels that are you know completely processed, they're completely thought out. And, they, and they're just complete funnels that are set up from top to bottom, ready for you to use. And all you have to do is plug in your own information. Now these are complete funnels, not just like templates of opt-in pages or, or sales pages. Let me show you. So to start a cookbook, So as you can see inside of here, you have the option of a whole bunch of different type of funnels that you can create. So you have a lead magnet funnel, a webinar funnel, a summit funnel, membership funnel, ask campaign funnel, sales letter funnel, hero funnel, video sales letter funnel, squeeze page funnel, a whole bunch of different funnels, tons and tons of different funnels inside of here. One of my favorite ones is the survey funnel, which basically means you take your new customer or your new client or your new, your new lead through a survey before they actually become your lead. You qualify them and you know ask them a couple questions about them so you could truly qualify them as a potential lead. So if I click on this sales funnel right here, what it does is take me over to this page where it gives me a little background on how survey funnels work, how I'm supposed to be using them, and how they're set up inside of ClickFunnels. Now if I scroll down to the bottom, it gives me all the templates that I could use. So it has about eight, nine templates inside of here. That, like I mentioned, these are complete funnels inside of here. They're completely done from top to bottom. All you have to do is add in your logo, add in your questions, you know, add in your copyrights and your dis disclaimers. Literally, it's a complete website that's already done for you. And so if we go back, if I keep scrolling down, you're gonna see that there's other funnels that you could pay for. And these are great too right here, especially you know if, it's, uh, if it has to do with your niche or your business, I'd definitely look into it. For example, this consulting coach one right here, 
you know if I was a coach or a consultant I'd definitely look into purchasing this one but the basic funnels the free funnels that they have are honestly more than good enough these are completely well-made website funnels that you could be using as soon as you get started so again you could pay for one or you could buy one if you want but these ones that are already pre-done for you and are, are free already these are more than good enough already and just want to show you quickly what most people obviously use this is for lead generation so if I go over to the lead magnet funnel here it is again same thing it gives me a good background of what a lead magnet funnel is how it works inside of click funnels so, you, so if you're completely brand new and you've never built a funnel before this is great information right here because it's really grabbing you by the hand and giving you an overall basis on what's going on here and how to use it and again if I scroll down to the bottom it gives me a lot of free lead generation funnels and if I want to pay for some more advanced one that's fine too and so those are the cookbooks right there now if I wanted to go back And I wanted to build up one from scratch, build a classic funnel completely from scratch. All I would have to do is create a classic funnel builder. Now right here you could either choose whether you're hosting a webinar, selling your product, or you're just collecting email, which is usually what people are trying to do is lead generation. So all you would have to do is go ahead and click on collect emails, give your funnel a name, and click on build funnel. And it takes you to the first step so the first thing you're gonna do is select a template so select a lead generation template so here's a good one right here like I always mention to people building a landing page or building a sales funnel is definitely not hard you don't have to make it hard tools like click funnels or lead pages they all create great templates for you to use all you have to do is you know be creative grab one of these templates and make it your own make it your own according to your brand to your niche or to your business or to yourself so for example this one right here you know if I click on preview I can see that this is an influencer funnel you know an influencer that's trying to generate leads for their business obviously you know like you come down here it gives you more of more of a layout of how you can help people things that you all you have to do is come in here and fill out yourself again same thing all you have to do is come in here and fill all this up out yourself so you know fill out your own testimonies your own headlines your own sub headlines your own paragraphs add in the terms and conditions and those things right there so if I go back and I wanted to choose one of these, let's say if I wanted to select one of these, all I have to do is click on select template, it loads it up for me, and after that all I have to do is click on edit page, and inside of here I could start moving everything around, I could start adding images, changing text, and doing making this funnel exactly the way I want it to look. So for example, let's say this photo right here, I wanted to maybe move it to the right hand side or maybe move it to the bottom. All I have to do is click on the move icon and start moving it around anywhere I want on this page right here. And as you can see here, it's, it highlights under other elements. So if I wanted to put it on the top over here, as simple as that. Now if I made a mistake and I actually don't want it there, all I have to do is click on the back arrow and it puts it right back where it used to be. Now let's say I wanted to add a brand new image or a brand new video to this page right here. All I have to do is click on the little plus icon right here and it adds a new element. So uh, right here all I have to do is click on column. Right here as you can see here add a new element. So maybe I could choose a new another headline. Maybe I could choose an image or a video. So I'll go ahead and choose video. And as you can see here it puts the video box right there for me. Now if I want to start editing this video right here or maybe making it a smaller frame. All I have to do is go over to the settings tab go over to the advanced and click on maybe half width so as you can see here it made it a lot smaller for me so it's a very simple drag and drop system that ClickFunnels uses and what I really like about it is that in the actual live website everything turns out exactly the way it should be I work with a ton of other you know landing page builders and website builders that once you actually make the website live and publish it things are still thrown around or things aren't where they actually should be and that's really one thing that I have to give to ClickFunnels that I really like about them that once you set something up on here 100% of the time for the most part like 99.9% .9%, it's gonna look exactly the way it should in your actual live website and things are actually gonna operate very smoothly and so again it's using a very simple pr box process basically uh, if you want to add in a new element all you have to do is add in a brand new box 
And right here I could choose whether I want my box to have three elements in it, four elements, two elements, five, six. So if I choose three, maybe if I wanted to put three images right next to each other right here, I just created three new elements in one single box. And I could make one smaller than the other if I wanted to, if I wanted to make the one on the left hand side the biggest one. And then it's as simple as adding in the new element. So clicking on add a new element, it opens up this side bar right here. Let me move myself out the way. It opens up this side navigation bar right here where it gives you all the options that you could put inside of there. So again, for example, an image, I can add an image, a paragraph, a headline. It gives you every last little thing that you're going to need for any website you want to build or any landing page you want to build. So a Facebook opt-in, a button. I know some people just like to use buttons, so I could use a button. Maybe over here I can add an image or something that I really like. is I could add a survey. So if I come down here, if I look around here, where is the survey? Here it is. So I could add a survey in. So again, tons of great elements that ClickFunnels gives you to use. You just have to learn how to utilize them, how to put them in the right way, and you know how to leverage them for your business. Because you know if you're doing an online business or if you're doing online marketing, anything online, obviously you're going to need a website for it. And you're going to need something that you could do anything you want with it. Something that gives you unlimited options, you know, that really lets you play around with your brand, your website, your business. So you could give out the message that you're trying to give out with your business. And so to start the leading elements, all I have to do is click on the little trash can at the top right hand side. So as soon as I click on that, I'll get asked if I really want to delete it. Of course I do. And I can just start deleting anything I don't want off the page. So a very simple drag and drop system to use. That's why I really do like ClickFunnels. It's easy to move stuff around. It's easy to delete stuff. Again, I could just go ahead and click on the trash can icon and I can delete anything I want. I could click on the text. I could, you know, start changing it around. I can make it bigger inside of here and make it smaller. Very, very simple to use. Every single element has the little settings icon at the top right here, as you can see here. And as soon as I click on that settings icon, I can start playing around with that exact element. A few of the last little things that I like inside of here are it gives you the mobile view. So all, if I want to see what it looks like in mobile, all I have to do is click on the little mobile icon at the top navigation bar and it gives me the mobile view. So I can start playing with this right here, moving it around. And, also, and I can also, you know, add in the integrations right back here. So if I wanted to add in an integration for Stripe or maybe my email autoresponder, all I have to do is add an Aweber and select one from my list right here. Select something from my list. And as you can see here, it connects it right directly to my Aweber. Or if I wanted to save this exact page right here and maybe use it again or duplicate this exact template and page right here that I just made myself, all I have to do is go down to general. And right here, I could save this page as a template. And then I could go ahead and pull it up on a new maybe website or funnel that I want to build and it'll be exactly the same. All right, so just want to go over a few last little things. So if I go over to my thank you page right here on the left hand side, as you can see here, here are your funnel steps. So if I wanted to add a new step to my funnel, all I have to do is click on add a new step. If I wanted to jump around from different steps inside of the funnel, all inside of here. So here's my opt-in page. Here's my thank you page. Maybe, maybe if I had a video sales letter, that'd be my next step in the funnel. So the last thing I want to show you inside of here is that they have a ton of great pages and a whole bunch of great templates for you to use for just about anything. So if you're making your sales page, if you're making your landing page, you know, your opt-in page, a webinar, a membership, let's say you created your own course, here's a membership area that you could create. So all you have to do is, you know, set it up inside of here. You can start adding in all the videos and all the training for your course. And it's, it's really as simple as one, two, three to set up a complete course inside of ClickFunnels. So at the end, you have a miscellaneous pages, you have pop-up pages, really a whole bunch of great pages. For example, an order form page. So let's say you, you were selling a product like a lotion, for example, this one. You can literally create a sales page inside of ClickFunnels and have somebody fill out their name, their credit card information, and buy your product directly from ClickFunnels or from your ClickFunnels website. All right, so that's a great overview of ClickFunnels and how it works. Now to give you my honest review about it, again, I work with Wix, BuilderAll, lead pages, autoresponders that have landing page builders in it like SendLane or GetResponse, WordPress, basically every type of landing page of 
HostGator basically works with every single type of landing page builder and website builder. In my opinion, overall, ClickFunnels is the best one to be using. ClickFunnels is the easiest to set up, is the most like newbie friendly one, the one that is actually going to work live the best. I've had other website builders that were a little bit on the more affordable side, but the website wouldn't look right once it was finished. So once I would actually publish it and make it live, a lot of times things would be moved around or, you know, like kind of deformed in a way. And it made it really difficult to like, you know, have live websites and start generating leads and, you know, run my online business. Really, I had to go back to ClickFunnels. I had tried it out first, you know, just to check it out. And then I went out and tried a couple of other competitors just to see what else is out there. And I had to come back to ClickFunnels just because of all the problems that I've had with other website builders. For example, one of the ones that, it, uh, that I did use and had the most problems was Builderall. Builderall was a great tool, a lot of stuff inside of there, you know, cool to be using, but it just had so many bugs and so many glitches. A lot of times the websites wouldn't be live, it would be a broken down website, or, you know, things inside of the website would be kind of moved around and deformed. So I really had to come back to ClickFunnels because, uh, you know, I, since I started using it and when I used it back then, I was honestly always getting really great quality landing pages and overall websites. So if you want my full recommendation, if you're, you know, looking around, I would honestly say go ahead and go with ClickFunnels. Now, if you want to give ClickFunnels a try, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for a free 14-day trial. If you want to go ahead and try it out, I'm also going to give you this free bonus training right here. So this is Sebastian Gomez's Inner Circle Mastermind. This is a very exclusive training that he's given away for people that want to use ClickFunnels. So absolutely free. All you have to do is go ahead and go down to the description, create your ClickFunnels account, and then just send me an email at this email address right here. So send me an email and I'm going to send you over this free training. Inside of here, you're going to get the Affiliate Accelerator Program. So it's a complete top to bottom affiliate marketing training. You're going to get a Facebook lead generation program that's going to teach you how to start using it. Facebook ads and how to use it to generate leads for your business and you're also going to get the 10k IG followers program that so if you're really into Instagram and you want to start learning how to build an Instagram account this is the exact training that you need right here so it's going to be completely free guys if you want to give click bundles a try and stick with it all you have to do is go down to the description start your free 14 day trial with click funnels and then just send me an email at this email address right here and I'll be sending you over this training absolutely free. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick breakdown and review video. If you got some value from it, don't forget to subscribe down below. And don't forget to like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey guys, I wanted to pause real quick because I forgot to add this part into the video. So I had to come back and re-record and it's a very important part. So I do apologize for doing this. But I definitely wanted to add this in because it's a very important part of ClickFunnels. So it's very important that I go over it. And that is the settings page of your funnel. So this is kind of the dashboard of your funnel and over here you have your settings and you have a couple other options. And one of the coolest options it has back here is split testing. So you can go ahead and split test any funnel that you create. And it's very, very important when it comes to online marketing. Because as you guys know, when it comes to online marketing, it's all about testing, testing, and retesting again. You always have to test everything. So of course you want to test your funnel, you know, test your headline, test your images, test your opt-ins, you know, overall test your landing page. And ClickFunnels makes it very easy to do that. So all I have to do is click on create a variation, create a duplicate from opt-in page, and it automatically creates a duplicate of the exact opt-in page. And all I have to do is click on the edit and change anything I want on the my second opt-in page, the variation. So I could change the headline, maybe change the colors, maybe change where placements are on the page. Again, very important to split test. Now what you don't want to do is change everything. What I honestly recommend is changing only one thing at a time. So what you want to test first is the headline, then maybe the image, then maybe, the, you know, the layout of the page but only test one thing at a time so to activate it all I have to do is slide this over to 50% so each one of them gets 50% of the traffic and click on apply changes and all done so that's the first thing to go over next is your stats so inside of here you have a stats page where you can see how many people have been clicking on your links so it's very cool when it comes to tracking so you could track how many people are actually clicking on your page 
how many people are seeing your pages so you have all clicks and you have unique clicks so how many one-time persons clicked on it you know it also gives you opt-in rates so if you have so if you have an opt-in page it's going to show you what rate people are opting in that versus the how many clicks you're getting and again it's overall pretty cool because it tells you how many people actually have been visiting your website which helps with the back-end traffic after that you have your contacts page so inside of here, obviously, since I just built this page right here, there's nothing inside of here. But every time somebody opts into your landing page, their email address and name is going to show up right here. So you're going to be able to have a list of all the people that have opted in in the past 30 days. You can download them into a CSV file like an Excel form and, you know, lay them out the way you want to. And just another cool feature back here. After that, you have the settings page. And inside of here, you could change the name of your funnel. You could add the domain of your funnel in. So I, as you can see, I have my domains right here. So all I have to do is click on one of the domains. And, you know, it connects it to this funnel right here. After that, as you can see, you have uh, tracking codes. For example, a Facebook pixel. If you, so if you put your Facebook pixel in right here, it's going to track the entire funnel, every single step of the funnel. But if you actually want, for every page of the funnel, you could add its own special Facebook tracking link inside of there, inside of the funnel settings. And so you also have a share funnel code. So let's say you wanted to build this funnel right here and share it around with people, maybe with your friends or maybe with your teammates or other people you're working with. You could grab this exact link right here and share it around with people. And once they click on it, it's going to automatically pull up this funnel into their ClickFunnels account. Again, another cool feature because it makes it very easy to share around information or website with team members and groups. And so after that, you have a few more integrations, for example, Stripe. So if you were collecting payments inside of this funnel, you could set up your Stripe account, a couple of other ones like Zipper. And all the way at the bottom, you have your archive funnel. So if you want to delete this funnel, if you want to get rid of it, all you have to do is click on archive. And let's say if you change any of the settings back here, you have to click on save and update settings afterwards so if you change the name of it anything you want to add or change back here you have to make sure you click save and update settings or else it won't fully apply the new settings and also right here you could reset your stats of the funnel so how many people clicked on it or opted in you could reset those stats you could also share the funnel again and clone the funnel so if you wanted to remake this exact funnel inside of your click funnels account all you have to do is click on clone funnel and it automatically clones it for you and that's the settings dashboard to your funnel. So again, a lot of cool features inside of here that you can leverage for your business.